um, Kim Gordon, and uh, you are a famous international artist. And uh, Bill Nays, uh, you, you joined uh, Kim Gordon. Could you explain to us uh, why you accept to play at the Lausanne Underground Film and Music f uh, Festival, this small crazy festival uh, lost in Switzerland? Um, well, that's exactly the kind of place we like to play. Why, why wouldn't we want to? <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, our music is not... It's pretty experimental, I guess. And, um, you know, it's always... The festival has a really good reputation. And we like um, the idea of mixing movies and music. It's pretty perfect. Yeah, I mean, you kind of nailed it. <laughs> So uh, Kim Gordon, uh, do you, during your c artistic career, you've been supporting a lot, lots of small and subversive bands, and they're at their beginnings, uh, such as Nirvana. Um, why is it important for you to support uh, independent music? Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, we it just organically happens that way because you want to have bands. Uh, play with you that you like and who make good music and create a great atmosphere for an evening of entertainment and um, you know it's it's just um, we're fans of you know many different kinds of music and so a lot of times that's how you get to see somebody I wouldn't call Nirvana subver subversive though <laughs> <laughs> I call them you know, really great songwriters. I don't know. Genius songwriters or something. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Just because you, you, you started your career as a, with punk music, so uh, maybe there is a link between all this, no? Um, well, I mean, actually, I was really first more inspired by no wave music, which was much more nihilistic than punk music and um, more. Um, Com music coming out of New York that characterized the tradition of um, new music, minimal music, rhythmic music, um, and, you know, music that was much kind of, for lack of a better word, arty than, and not commercial. Um, <clears throat> you know, punk rock, I mean, was three, basically three chord <laughs> rock. <laughs> uh, you know, the uh, attitude was different and but also I mean that's a whole other conversation but um, you know it's that you know that music I went to New York to do visual art and that music really inspired me because it seemed so free and experimental and people like Ikwe more you know were incredibly inspiring so you play together tonight under your new noise project called body head uh, can you just tell us how it started just what was the idea, uh, the idea at first uh, to do this project? Yeah. Bill. <laughs> what was the idea? <laughs> um, I guess we had started playing together in different um, combinations, improvising, and then just decided to cut the fat and make it a duo. And for you, after be being a member of Sonic Youth for over 30 years, uh, what did you want to explore something different, uh, thanks something more personal, uh, actually with you, Bill Nice, but was it uh, the idea of starting something new, different? Um, yeah, I wanted to do something that I <laughs> where I didn't have to do interviews or promote anything. <laughs> 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 um, you know, we don't have a record out or anything, so... You know, we're not really, we don't have anything to promote, so. <laughs> um, no, I don't know, I just, uh, you know, I like <laughs> the idea of doing something freer, and, and um, that's that's all, really. Yeah. And I like playing with Bill. Do you want to use video more? It's uh, something you, you want to use in this project, because we haven't seen it already here in Switzerland. Can you explain the use of video? Um, well, the vi the video is slowed down usually when we play to it, so it's kind of um, 
it's a film, yeah. So it just kind of works as like another texture with the music. Um, but yeah, it's not meant to have any kind of like narrative push to it or anything. Kim Gordon, uh, you are well known as a musician, but you are also an actress, um, a curator, and uh, you have several artistic career. Um, Uh, why is it important for you to, to make several uh, artistic uh, works? Um, I don't know. I think it's a huge flaw. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think uh, I'd probably be better off if I just did one thing and concentrated on it. But, um, I mean, I really think of myself primarily as a visual artist, and um, I, you know, the... I really like film. It was, you know, it's, um, I like acting, I th you know, because it's psychological. I guess I, I'm drawn to psychological things or sociological things. I like to think about the relationship of the performer and the audience. And um, so basically um, that's, I guess, the thing maybe that ties e everything together. Kim Gordon and uh, Bill, Bill Nays. Uh, so, uh, why did you accept to make this interview only with uh, these small media such as George and Luf TV? You don't promote, you don't promote uh, your own project uh, toward uh, uh, mass media, or uh? I mean, why would what, what mass media would want to <laughs> <laughs> hear this? <laughs> big, big medias. It's a good um, question. I think it's just the nature of the. It doesn't even seem like a decision. It's kind of the nature of the music. Um, these are just like kind of the outlets that seem to be interested in it. It's larger media doesn't seem to be kind of interested in this kind of music. Yeah. I mean, small. I think small gestures are sort of more interesting. Yeah. Everything has become sort of so broad, you know, and big and and. Um, It's nice to have a context. Yeah, context. I have another question. I keep reading that you are inspired by Catherine Breya, uh, which is pretty well known I mean, here in this uh, uh, French-speaking area. Uh, is it a true influence, or is it just something that you said once and that everybody... <laughs> no, we, we really like her movies. and um, we, I, I, don't know, I had this book about... Someone wrote about her films, analyzing them all, and... Um, They talked about the um, separation between body and head in relation to sex. And um, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, her films are really interesting. I think she's one of the more most radical film French filmmakers, maybe right now. I, I work for, uh, it's, it's also a very specific uh, um, magazine, which is uh, uh, George. It, uh, the themes, uh, usually we talk about gender or feminist questions, so it's going to be more questions for you. But if you're interested in these questions, we can... Well. <laughs> yeah, you have a gender. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you interested in these questions, in your work or in this work? I mean, related to Catherine Breya's work, I mean, she asks also questions about gender and... Uh, women's perspective on sex and everything do you think do you address this question in your, your work or is it just uh um yeah i mean i think um in the sense of being an active person rather than a passive person and um uh i guess in a context that's traditionally predominantly male um um I don't know, I, I'm kind of, um, I guess, a poor feminist because I never did women's studies. But, <laughs> um, you know, I, I think that conversations about gender and the fluidity of gender now is very interesting. That, um, and the idea of, um, I don't know, you know, the couple being tied to um, the sort of, mostly kind of um, corporate male structure of, of society and the, and um, you know I think that there there's a, you know but I <laughs> I'm a you know poor student <laughs> I can only say that you know we are not men yeah. okay. but if you <laughs> 
<laughs> if you want to speak more uh, like uh, more concrete things, do you think uh, what was it like being a woman artist on this uh, rock and experimental scene in the early 80s and now has it changed for you? Have you experimented difficulties or Well, I, I mean, I, the most amazing thing to me is that there are so many women involved with experimental music now um, because I think, um, you know, noise music and, um, you know, seem to really come out of record collecting or it's <laughs> <laughs> seemed like really um, predominantly male record collectors playing music and now there's so many women like you could see it like mid 90s starting to kind of um grow evolve and probably because of the internet and you know just in general more people making music at home and things like that um that's definitely the biggest change yeah. and for you uh, has it changed i think if, uh, i mean at first beginning as a woman artist it was you exper did you have to uh, um, fight more in the beginning uh, when you started playing on stages or um, I mean I didn't fight <laughs> <laughs> signing to a major label you you become really acutely aware of, of the mainstream music world even more so and um, and just how you know, women are treated in the workplace there. And I don't, I mean, I don't think mainstream music has really changed very much, actually. But uh, as far as my personal experience, I mean, I've pretty much ignored it as far as just, I mean, I think about it, but I, I, I don't mean ignore it in that way, but in terms of, um, Like, I was not Riot Girl, you know, <laughs> but uh, I was really interested in what they were doing. Okay. And last question. Uh, so you consider yourself as an artist or as a woman artist? Does it make any difference? Um, I consider myself uh, not a man artist. <laughs>